Hi, this is Gilles, the Radio Prepper. If you've been watching my channel, you know that I am a big fan of Morse code because it's simple, it's efficient. The radios are simple and they're also very efficient. So it's a very uh, good way of communicating, especially for preppers or for anybody else for that matter. You don't have to use a radio. You can use a flashlight, you can tap on someone's arm, but it's fairly slow. Well, some people are really fast. Some people can send and receive code at 50 words per minute. And that's absolutely amazing. Here's what it sounds like. I mean, it's crazy. I can't do that. I can probably copy in my head at about 15 words per minute. That's understanding 100% of the message. I can go up to 20 but I'm missing some words and if I go above 20, I just lose too many words and I lose the meaning of what's been sent to me. There are a number of applications that uh, I use to learn Morse code and uh, you should go watch my uh, video, my first video on Morse code, how to learn Morse code the right way. Then come back to this one. On Android, I use uh, KMT Pro and I think on iOS, I used to uh, use uh, Ham University, I think it's called, or Morse University, I'm not sure. There are also a number of websites like uh, lcwo.net. On Windows, you can get a program from g4fon.net. On YouTube, you can also find uh, Morse code. There is a guy named Bill who has a chapter of Moby Dick in Morse code at different speeds and I have used it and you know thank you Bill for putting that on. It's, uh, it's a great way to uh, listen to Morse code at different speeds. Now the phone apps I mentioned earlier have a feature that allow you to input a, an RSS feed which is a news feed that you can find on most uh, news websites and uh, the application will play the news for you in Morse code. So, you can listen to daily news in Morse code every day. But enough babbling. Let's get to how to improve your Morse code copy speed. What you have to do, and I'll take my example here. I can copy perfectly at 15 words per minute. And I struggle at 20. I understand, but I miss a lot of words. I want to be very good at 20 and, you know, later I will improve my speed. But let's say that my goal was 20. And right now I'm capable of doing 15 words per minute. What I want to do is to listen to Morse code faster than I can understand. And I mean, it doesn't matter if you, if you can't copy at all. You have to try. Your brain is inherently lazy. If you don't push it, it's not going to try harder. It's not going to make new connections in your head. That's going to allow you to copy the code faster. So you have to push it. In my case, let's say I want 20 as a goal. I will listen to code at say 25 or 30 words per minute. Now at 30 words per minute, I practically, I'll just get a few words once in a while, simple words, but I won't be able to understand the meaning of a text, but I want to try doing it anyway. And I want to do so for probably about 15, 20 minutes, forcing myself to try to understand the code. Now, of course, you're going to say, well, it's, that's not working because you don't understand anything. But that's not the point. That's not the goal of the operation. The goal of the operation is to create those new connections in your head that are going to uh, decode code at that speed because you don't have them yet. So if your brain has to tr struggle to understand what's going on, it will create those connections, you know, slowly and it takes some time. But what you want to do, and you can see a result right away, actually, because after you have done your session at, say, five or maybe, you know, probably 10 words per minute faster than you can copy, then you can go back to, in my case, I would go back to 20 speed at which I struggle. And right away, I will see a huge improvement. It's not going to last, though, because probably an hour, two hours later, you'll be back to not understanding. But in time, that speed will build up and you will be able to understand 20 words per minute. In my case, you know, we'll be able to do so at 100%. And I know that I just haven't been doing it because, you know, I have other things to do. And like everyone else, I'm a bit lazy too. You know, we all are to a point. But this method actually works. 
you copy faster, faster than you can understand for 20 minutes. Then you go back to the speed you struggle at and you will see that right away. Bam! You will understand much more than you used to half an hour prior. And if you do it often enough, that speed will stay. And then you can bump it up. You can go to 35 watts per minute, you know, and to try to understand 25. And that's how you build up your speed for Morse code. Have a good one.